This game is called How Low Can You Go? For this game, I actually have my friend, Teddy Bear, to play with me. If you have a live and in-person buddy to play with you, feel free to play with um, somebody real. Otherwise, you can play with a pretend friend like I'm doing. So for this game, um, we have a deck of cards and I took out all of the um, numbers that are greater than five and the, um, except for 10 and the face cards. So what I'm left with here is I have all of my numbers uh, one through five and my tens here. So that's what I'm gonna be playing with for this game. So the goal is for each player to have three pairs of cards with the lowest overall score. So what we'll do is we will deal six cards to each player. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and the rest of them will just go face down. So I'm going to take a look at my cards. And I wanna see what I have here. Okay, so I have some high ones and some smaller ones. And since I'm playing against a pretend buddy, I'm gonna look at his cards too. He also has some high ones and some low ones. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn one card face up from our deck. And it will be my turn first. So I can either choose to take this face up card or to draw one from the deck and discard one of my cards or the card that I drew, if I'd rather discard the new card. And remember, I want to, the game is called How Low I Can Go, so I want to have three pairs of cards with the lowest overall score. So I want small numbers. So I'm seeing here that I have a 10. I think I wanna get rid of that 10. So I'm actually going to take this four and then the card that I'm going to discard is my 10. So now it is Teddy Bear's turn. So Teddy Bear can decide to either take the 10 or take one of these cards to discard one of his. So I'm going to have him take one from the pile. Oh, he got a two. And he has some high cards here. He has, um, the, his highest number is five. So it probably makes sense for him to discard five. Okay, now I have a pretty good combination of things in my hand. I definitely don't want this five because this is more than anything I have. So this is my second turn. And we're gonna get three turns overall. Oh, I got a five and I don't want that. I'm gonna get rid of that. Okay, now it's Teddy Bear's turn. Have him choose one from the deck. He got a 10. Ooh, he definitely doesn't want that because all of his other numbers are less than 10. So he'd probably just put that one in the discard pile. Now it's my turn. I'm gonna take one from the deck. Ooh, an ace is worth one. That's a good one. What do you think I should get rid of? What's my highest card right now? Yeah, you're right, four. Four is my highest card. So I'm going to get rid of this four. Mm, Teddy Bear has to decide. This is his last turn because I took three and this will be his third. So he has to decide if he wants to risk it and pull one from the pile or if he wants to play it safe with this four that he could get rid of his five four. Let's see, I'm gonna have him risk it. Five, so he'll just get rid of that one. So now what we can do is we get to total up what we have, and it might be a good idea if you have a piece of paper or some place to show your thinking, um, to think about how you're gonna add up your score. So for me, I know I have a three and a two make five. So I have five plus a four and a two, a four and a one make another five, plus five, plus two and three make another five. So I have five plus five plus five, which is 15. So my score for this game is 15. So let's see if Teddy Bear got a lower score than me or a higher score than me. So Teddy Bear has a two and a two that make four. So he has four plus one and four make five plus four and five make nine. Okay, so he has to think about what his total is. 
So he might think about the four, like a one and a three. So he can put the nine and the one together to make 10 and three more is 13 plus the five is 18. So in this game, I won because I have the lower score. Now remember when you get to this step where you're adding the numbers together, we chose to do pairs because the goal was to have three pairs of cards with the lowest overall score. But if you see doubles or um, you know some combinations of cards, you can add them however you want, whichever way makes sense to you so that you can find your total. Have fun, good luck.